Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Street Photography Diaries London. So what just happened is a really interesting uh, interaction I had. Uh, I was I was taking pictures of this street performer. He was doing mime or whatever and he just saw me and started striking poses because he obviously does uh, improvisation so we just improvised i was a part of his performance and he was part of my shooting so it was really interesting and and in the end he stole my camera so i mean i gave him my camera but uh, I, I really wasn't comfortable doing that but like obviously i'm easy to manipulate and i i never knew that about myself <laughs> so uh anyway but i i used quick thinking and went to his stuff and like pretended to steal his stuff so i wasn't complete failure in this uh little game we had uh, so yeah it, it was it was a interesting performance well where i'm going is uh east i'm heading east so i was in Covent garden what uh, where that happened, where this thing happened, it was Covent Garden, and I'm going east. And my plan is to reach uh, Shoreditch in maybe one hour. So I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just, I never really look at the map when I'm walking around and taking pictures. I'm just walking, and I, I know I'm gonna reach Shoreditch if I go east enough. And the reason why I'm going there because I never, never really. Uh, did uh, any street photography in Shoreditch? I'm always uh, sticking to my area. It's it's too far to go east if, when you're living in West London, like I do. Uh, so my plans were just uh, just heading there and taking as many pictures as possible. And turns out it was a really really long walk. So yeah, it was it was maybe two hours and I was walking th that all day so I'm, I'm pretty tired as, as I'm taking these pictures and I really thought this was gonna be one of the sessions where I'm where I get no good photos but turns out it was one of my productive uh, days because as you see I did a lot of photography today I there's about 70 photos that I Things are usable today. I mean, usable. I'm I'm saying these, this stuff just to just to explain. Like my I, by usable, I mean it's a good photo by my standards. I don't I don't care about any standards. So this this is uh, one of my favorites. So this is. These are just buildings. I don't usually take pictures of buildings, but these types I really love, and this cloud in the background is nice. I think this style is like brutalism or something. I'm not, I'm not a big art uh, know-it-all. I, I don't, I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just uh, doing my thing, right? But usually, I'm. I'm trying to get stuff that is that is kind of out of ordinary. So, like for example, this bridge I'm gonna shoot with this man is <coughs> it's an ordinary bridge, but you don't see bridge every all the time. You you, you walk maybe a couple of kilometers, you see a bridge. So that's that's when I use. That's that's why I use these things. Like I, I take anything that's out of ordinary and try to make a composition with that because it is interesting. You don't want to take a picture of something that you see all the time. That's so repetitive. I mean, that's that's the other thing. But why not? Also, the other th the other thing I I really hate is is not it is is when you when you take a photo and there's no no life inside when there's no people so like this one so I'm taking I'm gonna take a picture of a cityscape right now and I really hate just cityscapes or just like when someone 
takes a picture of a car or some some bullshit. I want I want people in my picture. I'm interested in people. Yeah, so you see a silhouette here of a person. So that's that's what is interesting to me. I'm really interested in, in this experience being a human. So human interacting with his environment, interact interacting with uh, with stuff around him and and I, I really hate not just in photography but just in art in general it's boring to me yeah I'm just going on a, on a bit of a rant but it's, it's just something I'm is my style I'm I'm like I really like just pictures of people it doesn't have to be people it can be any type of creature uh, yeah, anyways, I'm rambling too much, so I reached, I reached uh, Shoreditch, this Shoreditch High Street, I don't, I don't really know this area, I really can't tell for sure, but I'm here and I'm fucking exhausted, I, I couldn't walk anymore, so I decided to head towards Old Street Station, I took a couple of cityscapes, uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm I feel exhausted anyways, but uh, yeah, I'm in, in a tube station right now and that gives uh, gives another dimension to your photography when you when you switch from outside to in, inside and you see and you get different kind of opportunities and I really love shooting I love shooting uh, tube stations and, or any type of station that with trains or whatever it, it it's really interesting to me and I, I hope one day to do a whole episode just in, in TFL so just in the, in a tube station and also yeah it's, it's, it's similar to to when you when you shoot people in buses like in episode 4 I did just people in buses you get interesting faces you get interesting lighting lighting and it's it's good so it this thing of mine is coming to an end so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go to the white city station I'm go getting off at white city station and I'm really happy about today I felt I, I did something and I mean I did something it was just fun and I took some pictures that's that's for me doing something I don't know what's your your standards but <laughs> for me it's it's doing something and I really enjoy it so yeah as always uh, thank you for watching I really appreciate everyone who watches this stuff uh, even even though it's it's not perfect production I'm I'm still a complete amateur but I, I really can't thank you guys enough for watching and uh, especially commenting and also yeah uh, for next episode just tune in every Friday and that's it thank you and goodbye